Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Durka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Tech Zamasu fight in the Mortal Will and Divine Wrath event. So basically it's a pretty straightforward event. It's one phase tech type and it's pretty interesting. Uh, he hits quite hard, uh, like quite hard. Um, and I think you know, for most players, it's going to feel a bit unreasonable. To kind of counteract this a little bit, what we've done is we've essentially built our team from the ground up to be in type. So we've gone with the Worldwide Chaos team. And in this team, essentially, we're focusing and prioritizing on in type characters. So you know, you'll see Perfect Cell here. You'll see Demon King Piccolo. You're going to see Merge Zamasu. Uh, you're going to see the Android 17 and 18 for a very specific reason. Uh, and of course, yeah, you're going to see, you know, basically a whole int team. We also have int Zamasu who's pretty good. So yeah, we're basically prioritizing an int team. And the reason being is, you know, for the most part, we want to, to a certain extent, obviously minimize the kind of type differential between us and the boss, just because of how hard he hits. Uh, but also it helps speed up the amount of damage that we do because our attacks will constantly be effective against all types. Now I don't have Tech Zamasu but if I did have him and if I did this is where I would put him if I had one um, if I did have him I would obviously use him as my lead. Uh, we have the Int Goku Black here who unfortunately isn't going to transform until later on so his damage is going to be capped. Now his defense gets to an okay level even in base form. But his damage is very severely capped if he doesn't transform. So that's the only real shame that kind of occurred with this team functionality. Uh, outside of that, pretty straightforward. We're going to Whis, then Ghost Usher, Whis, then Ghost Usher type of thing. Or Ghost Usher, then Whis, Ghost Usher, then Whis. And essentially this is just going to give us turns of free damage. Anytime we don't need a unit to be hit, essentially we're going to Ghost Usher, whereas every time we kind of want a unit to be hit, we're going to use a Whis, or if we have a defensively solid rotation. Now, overall the team does more than fine. Uh, it's one of those teams that you know, can get caught out by a super attack in the wrong position, uh, but generally speaking is uh, quite a solid little foundation uh, for us to kind of build off of. So as long as you can avoid getting hit by super attacks, yeah I know, super simple. The easiest way to win Dokkan, just avoid getting hit by super attacks. It's, you know, makes life way easier. But yes, in theory, as long as we make sure that the right units tank these super attacks uh, instead of the wrong ones, then yes, generally speaking, we should be quite solid. Uh, overall, I think we should be able to handle the situation quite well. So this is definitely something that I would say is good uh, in the long run. I think we as characters uh, can you know, definitely take kind of a page out of you know, our book and obviously just uh, try and plan our team to be uh, strong against the boss. Now, Zabasu hits it very hard. Uh, outside of that, he is also quite tanky, um, obviously with a sizable chunk of health. This is where the Intzamasu comes in hand. His ability to heal really kind of keeps us up, although it is also counterintuitive to Perfect Cell. Remember, ideally, if we want to beat this challenge in any kind of time, uh, we want Perfect Cell to transform. Perfect Cell is obviously one of the best int damage dealers in the game. So having him transform and crank out his 20 bajillion attack stat would be quite helpful when trying to defeat the boss. With that being said, honestly every unit on this team does more than fine. You will see just how much damage a lot of these units take and even with type advantage, even with high defensive stats after super and even with Whis's activated, like units are going to take damage, it's just one of those things. So you do have to just plan ahead and position your units and use the Ghost Dasher and just you know, try and handle the event as best as possible. Now Merge the Master does a pretty good job and I will say you know, for the most part, um, at least for me, it's a pretty simple kind of run. Especially if you're running this high heavy int team, I think 
beating the event is very much manageable, especially with the items. I think some of the challenge missions will pose a interesting conundrum, but yeah, I think overall it's it's a reasonably solid event. One thing I don't really like about this in the Trunks event and the latest Red Zone is it again feels like it invalidates another 10%, 20% of the game. So whereas before, like let's say 70% of the units in the game weren't usable, it now feels like 80% of the units in the game aren't usable, usable which is a bit of a bummer uh, for me in the long term. I think that's a bit of a shame and maybe not too well thought out because honestly speaking it is just quite a big hindrance. But yeah, you can see obviously we got uh, Inns Piccolo's you know, giant form transformation uh, which of course you know did some decent damage but it's not the most interesting thing to watch so I just skipped it. Then we're going to use his active skill and then the master's domain. The main reason for the domain is obviously to avoid damage um, with the second slot. And also when we get the orbs here, it's going to provide Piccolo with additional defense. Which means Piccolo is going to be sitting at over half a million before he gets hit, which is good. So he should be okay to tank a super after he gets hit and then fires off his super attacks. So yeah, um, I would say... Overall, pretty decent performance. Uh, no item run is going to be pretty interesting on this stage, I'm not going to lie. But we are just going to have to see how things go. I do think, uh, yeah, I do think it's a pretty tough stage. So if you are struggling, uh, don't don't feel don't feel like you're yeah you're, you're on your own. It is definitely a a reasonably tough stage, and I think a lot of players will probably uh, struggle with it in general. And there you can see our good old friend. Uh, into Goku Black transforming, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. Obviously, um, I think overall a pretty, yeah, pretty fun performance from this team. I will say the in typing really does help a lot. Uh, the units tend to be quite solid, and you get good consistent damage. So if you just utilize your items correctly, uh, you know you can stay on top of things like i didn't feel out of place this whole run because obviously we remained on top of everything which i think is pretty good so yeah that's uh, basically going to be it from me i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did you can obviously leave a like uh, i greatly appreciate it otherwise if you need more help of course you can leave a comment uh, that's also something that's uh, you know something I do respond to when I can. So if you do need help, leave a comment. I'll gladly be here uh, to assist you. And we'll finish it off with Goku Black, because uh, why not? So yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and yeah, if you need any help, please give me a shout. It's, it's gonna be a rough one. That's gonna be it for me. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Stay safe, and as always, see you guys next time. Bye.